Howdy, gamers. Let me turn myself up a little bit. Susan is still slightly blended here. Um, how's everyone doing? The background is still kind of a mess. Better. Better than it was. So, so we're playing Outer Wilds today. And I, I bought it on PC just now, and because, like, I own it on PlayStation, but I kind of felt the controls were a little bit clunky on PlayStation, and now I open this up and it says, grab a controller and kick back. This game needs a controller for the best experience. I kind of beg to differ, to be, I mean, maybe the fucking... Uh, the fucking controls for mouse and keyboard are god awful, but like nine times out of ten, I prefer a keyboard and mouse to fucking controller. Uh, game capture. And let's move me to this corner. Should be good. Turn up the music slightly. Enter profile name Claudia. The left is barely visible. That's that's. I mean, honestly, that's kind of where I want it, but that's where it is technically barely visible for me. But that also doesn't show up on the stream. So we're doing that. What happens. We do not invert player luck. Vibration, look sensitivity, light sensitivity. Oh lord. Button prompt images. No. <laughs> Controls. All right. Leave menu. Let's get to playing. Like I said, I've played some of this. I've played maybe three hours, something like that. Wake up. Mm -hmm. It's always weird when you have legs in a game. Talk to sleep. There is our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. I'm ready if you are. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with the pilot instead of the auto flight system. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down, you hear? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from horn bells in the observatory before you can lift off. Oh, I got an email from my school. Um... Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Where's Marshmallow? Nice. The idea of doing this... Ah, shit. With the controller. Just, uh... Does not seem correct. Ooh, though, th this shit's a little floaty. Fires launch codes. I jumped pretty high. Not that high. I need to either ch change the FOV or turn down the look sensitivity or something. Auto 
autopilot? Button prompts, inner dead zone, outer dead zone, pre-flight checklist. You can save changes. Is that better? That's a little better. Oh, I got a hold and release. That's weird. May make sense. You horns fell? No, you were Mika. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Hello, Ellie. The Yi. Uh, you better not. Have... Aren't you going into space? Aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Uh, fly model ship. Left control and left shift are... Ooh, this is... Ah. Okay. I have a feeling this isn't gonna go fantastically. I gotta I gotta change one of those controls. Um Movement flight. Down thrust and up thrust. Match velocity is space. Uh, I would rather have, like... God, I don't even know what I would want. But left shift and left control are fucking a disaster. Let's say... Down thrust is F. We'll see how that goes later. Is that where I just came up from, or was that where I came up from? What? Hey, yo, hatchling! I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. Amongst the stars. When you return, let's you and you, me, and Goss and open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking whoa. Seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. The other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine, more daunting digestive challenge. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Okay. Observatory. Look. Hello, astronaut. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide-and-seek, but Moraine won't let us th borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and I'm not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Uh, can't today. Aw, oh, really? But we can't play without a signal scope. Play with us later, okay? That's nothing. Pog. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be able, a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Why's that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it, it was just the two of us sitting around a campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Uh, Gabra wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decide to travel deeper. They travel down and down, but suddenly Gabra couldn't go any further. <laughs> I underestimate how boring this would be. Tell me more. I will, I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabra go any deeper, and held Gabra back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. Then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Is that all true? 
I heard it from Gabbro himself. Gabbro can be a little fanciful, sure, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyway. I guess if you want to know if the story is entirely true, you can go see Giant Sea for yourself. Okay. The sound in this game is really good. What is this? Camera? Danger inside this fence is the pocket of a goat is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. Good news is that you can te detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself pulling around. Hornsfells. Goat matter. Oh. Uh, t oh, take snapshot. Why does it have two right clicks? Okay. Weird. Man, it's certainly a fucking walk to the observatory. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from top left, Hornsfels, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wild Ventures, without whom we would have never gotten off the ground. Oh no, oh no, they're, they're kickstart, oh okay, I thought that was gonna go on for fucking ever. Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest re reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. Intentionally is doing a lot of work there. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth, and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adelrock. Rock. My guy? No. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at yet at the Nomai, who appear to have co been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Though their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. What decorative stuff on the antlers? I don't really see it. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools and augural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you want. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm ner I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? I'm uh, just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see this statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see what a, a real-life Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Um, hold on. Answering a text from... The Evergreens. Um. Trying to find a thing for them. How are people doing? Okay. 
Uh, makes me wish you could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess it's as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. A little warmer. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Coming soon. Future site of our next exhibit. If you've enjoyed your time with the Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Okay, so DLC. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on different objects from different directions. Pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Interesting. Yeah. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This, de this decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe, or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological expeditions. We got skeleton. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomai ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Good. Wait, there was a, a fish I wanted to see. Wow. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Alright, cool fish. Where's the interloper? Uh, there we go. Oh, it's a comet. Okay. Uh, close map. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai Translator tool. I confess, I've just been gi I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I don't know. Aha, overwhelmed by the options, perhaps. I don't blame you. If you need help getting started, you could go visit Esker on the moon. They're alone on the Addle Rock most of the time, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Plus, we don't know what the ancient Nomai ruins on the moon are, or why they were built. You could put your new translator tool through its paces. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to die in space. Augers. Ready to get off this rock. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before sleep makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me let me know if I can help you with anything. Alright. What is that Morse code? I am unsure. What do we got here? This strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level head among us, among us, 
realizes that realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate ag agree the effect is extremely creepy. <laughs> okay. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai off text often branches off from a central point. Interesting, each Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Ooh. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Atoll Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Cool. What is this? Oh! How do I... Ah, fuck. How do I stop interacting with this? Oh, okay, thank god. <laughs> where, where do I fucking leave? There we go. Interesting. The eyes are open now. Hey. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? The statue look at, looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? You know what, don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad to happen if you tried to launch while you're not feeling great. But hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of our translator tool. Can't believe it's all grown up and leaving for space already. For real, though. I'm glad you're the one carrying it, not like Ryback. They'd fall on it, for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip just to get your space legs under you, you can check out the ruins on Atoll Rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. Alright. Thanks, Hal. Crickets. Is this with or without the expansion? This is without. I figured I haven't played through the game in full yet. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. This The excitement of launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Oh, here. Launch codes. Let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Sounds like Esker was is still stationed on the Adel Rock. They've been there by themselves for a while. I hear there are Nomai ruins somewhere on the Atoll Rock. No one knows what they are or why they were built. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device at the Atoll Rock. Okay. A lot of crap in here. Ah, there's a pilot seat. Buckle up. Ooh. Okay. Continue to fucking escape the atmosphere here. Oh! 
Okay. That comet's looking pretty cool. Eh. Eh. I mean, I am getting pretty close to it. Might as well try for it. Can I catch up? Oh, it's getting closer to the sun, so it's speeding up. Okay. Let's see, um... Shit, can I view the map? Well, I went to the... the outskirts here. Uh... Oh, I'm I'm drifting. What is this? It's Giants Deep. Can I go back home? <laughs> oh, match velocity. Interesting. Timber herd. Gauge autopilot. Please do not fly through the sun or into that thing. It'd be really ideal if you didn't fly into that planet. Okay. Ugh. Gauge autopilot to the Adelrock. Rock. This is the Outer Rock, at least. Fuck. Cool. Well, that's less embarrassing than the first time I ever died in this game, which was I got out on a planet but forgot to put my spacesuit on. That's going a different direction. Pretty sure it went that way last time. Hey, you ready to get off the ground? The ship's all fueled and ready to go. Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if it, you ask me, it makes you a, all a bit jumpy. I might as well go and ask. Who's the, the person with the, with the statue? I don't know their name. But they were up near the observatory. Glad you don't have to get the launch codes every time. Astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossen says it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a su su super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. You know, ghost matter is how tech Tektite lost their foot, right? Whoa, really? That is so cool. Is everyone named after a rock?
Johnson. Hey, I thought you I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Not what Slate says. Boy, you better know what... You know better than to believe a word that lunatic says about me. They're still sore I made them install a safety harness in the cockpit. Claimed it would throw off the thrust to weight ratio. Honestly, one of these days I'm gonna throw off Slate's thrust to weight ratio. I don't understand what you mean by that. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave in, in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. I'm, I'm ready. Darn right you are. Don't get yourself killed out there, you hear? Not after I've put this much work into training you. Haha, <laughs> go on, make Outer Wilds Ventures proud. Oh, there's a lot of reading in this game. They lost one of four eyes, yeah. Just a casual little fucking eclipse in the middle of the day for like 10 seconds. Hey, there are two guys in here this time. Hornsfells. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Ah, <sighs> me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. Was there something you need? Uh, I'm good. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Look, look, look. You guys see this to know my sta statue's eyes are open. They uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. Now they've opened. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabbro? Or maybe Ryback? Oh, Stars, this is so exciting, it's making my stomach hurt. Alright, nobody else... I'm not gonna tell anyone else I died, apparently. That's fine. Probably just a fluke. I do like the feel of jumping. Alright, take two. the moon. moon? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Match velocity. Engage autopilot. No, do not abort autopilot. Fuck. Okay, you really gotta make sure that shit is not in front of you. Make it? Did I do it? Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Landing mode? Ah. Okay. I think I'm good. Basic. Okay. Why 
needs to be repaired. Landing gear. Oh, flashlight. Okay. Okay, well, let's just keep looking around. The, uh, the gravity here is really messing with my head. Found an issue. Equipment. F is flashlight as well. The so down thrust will be is X being used for anything? Yes, autopilot. G? Yeah, G. Oh, hey. There's like a, a symbol out there. Watch someone stream this, but I have no memory of what actually happens in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... A little bit there with you, where, like, I remember pieces of this, but not much. And I also did not get terribly far. How do I get the translator out? Oh. Ooh. Okay. What, uh, what are we doing? Is this like aligning to the planets? Yes. Okay, I'm guessing that's probably the sun. Get the translator out. Signal scope. Primary tool action, secondary tool action. I guess it will open up contextually. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and they can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator just rotates wildly and never points in just one direction. Okay, so that's the thing I was doing. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. That is a curious result. It's possible that the eye has stopped calling out its signal. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would, we would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the, mul of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. Kasava, our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place, so we won't get we won't give up so easily. Okay. Okay. 
Ooh, pick up scroll. Insert scroll. Hey. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample space available. I, I should be writing this shit down. Okay. I know the game keeps a log. But is it not more fun to do this? Hang on, let me get my let me get a fresh notebook. Okay. Let's start mm, here. So, things we know right now. Ooh. Pencil got caught in my headphones. I of the universe calibrator on Paddle Rock doesn't work. And then I can construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. Okay. New calibrator on south pole of what was it? I imagine our young friend Kanoi would Hanoi? Kanoi? Would Enjoy that immensely. He's always had a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Hollow. Uh, the crash? Okay. Anona, whoop, Anona and those of us who originally originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. Quantum moon locator on Ember Twin. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. We learned some things. Ooh, what's this? Okay, wow. Wow, I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. This is me. It's me doing this. <laughs> so this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Okay, good to know. So we've learned that this, like, this little star symbol here, that's the eye. We saw that at home, too, near a thing we were supposed to translate. Yeah. 
Yo, know, while we're here, let's, um... What is it pointing to right now? Oh, what the? Oh, re retrieve scout. Okay. What do I hate? I think that's Giant's Deep. Oh, no, that one's called. What's this one? The sun? The sun, perhaps? Don't know why you would need to locate the sun. Okay. Well, we have learned a couple of things. I guess the next place to go... Oh, wait, wait, there's somebody up here, isn't there? Like, there's somebody who lives up here? On, like, a little base? That is my ship? I think? No, that's not my ship. Mm -hmm. Some kind of crash landed ship. Ooh, flag. Got some trees? Unidentified signal nearby. Alright. Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled. Neat. Those all. Hey, Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and need more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chirp comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro. You know how Rybeck feels about... And you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space life. Don't go! I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, hornfells, and gossip mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't che check in as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. Uh, was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with this signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. What is this place? Ah, very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Well, you don't gotta fucking neg me about it. Ah, welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started the Outer Wilds, it's weird that I can move my helmet like while I'm talking. Travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space faring... Uh... Okay, I guess we're passing in front of the sun, maybe. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost also cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Uh, see you later. You know what? Now we keep fucking around with controls. Flashlight, middle click. I don't think anything else is middle click. And that just feels like a flashlight button to me. Yeah.
Interesting. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Esku signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to Chirp play for a while to get today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porf Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. Day 70, no, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Earth. Okay, I know this is crazy, day 76, but the sound from Timberheart sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ten years ago. It can't be them. Ages ago. It Day 88, it's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I'd better talk to Nice. Ooh, a quick signal scope. Poggers. Interesting. Oh, he's humming or uh, whistling the same tune. Okay. All right. Oh, fuck. Signal identified Esker. Okay. Sometimes I talk to someone on VR chat that's an extreme fan of this game and makes VR worlds inspired by it. That's very cool. This this game is very good, like fodder for VR chat worlds. I, I feel. Also a system like me, Pog. They're really out here. Where the hell's my ship? Is that it? Yes. Anything else need repair? Okay, right, think we're good. Oh, uh, can take this off. Return suit. I could go back to to uh Earth 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 and check out um check out that harmonica. Yo, did you see that landing? Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, good music. Uh, the sun appears to be exploding. Or imploding. 
is a supernova? I feel like we would know way ahead of time if there was going to be a supernova. Music comes when the sun explodes. That's fair. Well, oh, broken piece. Rip bow, though. Sun's gonna explode. You're lucky I'm in a time loop, otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright, Slate. If that is your real name. Let's go to a different part of the planet. Can I get the signal scope out while I'm flying? Oh! Let's go! Where's that harmonica? Actually, I may... I have to say, maybe I should have brought my spacesuit. Fuck. Ah, fuck. Oh. Okay, so 16,000 meters away, actually. No, 246 meters. How did I get up there? Nope. Shit. <laughs> I think I can't get back to my ship. Can't tell anyone the sun's gonna explode today. Alright. Would be nice if I could find a way out of this fucking crater.
I think I might have to kill myself to reset the time loop. Oh, but those kids, I can I can play with those kids. The signal scope, that's something to do. Go back down. Let's note for next time that we should keep our fucking spacesuit on us. In case we need to get out of a crater. Back right, is everything okay? Well, yes, but actually, no. What are you doing back? Did you forget your spacesuit or something? Yeah. Everything okay? Seemed kind of early for you to be back from space. Need something for me? I'm good, actually. those kids. They must be up one level. Hey, kids. It isn't my favorite troublemaker. Yep, let's play. Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. I like that it's a different animation than a typical, like, closing eyes, because four eyes. gotta figure out how to get up there. Hey! Found you. You found me. Where's the other one? Now I see him. Oof. Hey. You got me, but I'm the last one. I win. Promise you'll play again when you get back from space, okay? You got it. Interesting. Let's reset the time loop, perhaps. Ah, I'm so afraid of heights, man. That didn't kill me? I figured it would. I'm slightly more durable than I thought. Oh, you know what? There's that ghost matter. That shit will, like, eat my soul or whatever.
Okay, we're going to take better care of our ship this time. I swear that goes in different directions each time. going on over here oh there we go look at that landing just look at that snap hey dude what we got going on Ayo Hatchling, thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me, I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here myself. What crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed. But it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something they might that might have come off of Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, that's a fact. I think I'll send Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree key to can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can... Help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for anyone, for someone to fit inside. But anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as, as that seed does. It's a good way to lose an arm or two. Uh, scout launcher. Launch that shit, baby! Launch that shit, baby! Uh What is that? Okay. Whoops. Interesting. Oh, where's um Okay. Now... Okay, so it's specifically, like, inside this bramble. Okay, patch suit puncture. I just wanted to see. Alright. Where to now? Uh, what was the, what was the ice planet? Dark Bramble Seed. Inside the seed? No my device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. No my were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Brittle Hollow South Pole. Uh, map mode? 
Hollow's Lantern. Dark Bramble. Ryback. Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Alright, well, to Brittle Hollow it is. Let's see what's going on on our own planet. There we go. Do I die if I go in here? Ooh, no, it gives me a nice little boost. That's cool. Ow. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's the Adderall. realize I didn't escape the atmosphere. Okay. Um, but away. Not the sun. What are you? You're brittle. Huh? Okay, match velocity. Engage autopilot. They were looking for the south pole of Brittle Hollow. That is some kind of... That's something orbiting the sun. That shit's lava? Yeah, it's probably lava. Undershot target. Okay. Yeah, they they weren't lying. That shit looks brittle. Alright, good landing. I will never fail to congratulate myself on a good landing. Not Feldspar. Banjo Boy, okay. Just look at that sun. Where is the entrance to this building? What the fuck was that? Appear to be under fucking attack. What am 
my ship? I think that's my ship. Okay. So there's no entrance above here. So clearly the entrance is underneath. Because, I mean, it looked like the planet was hollow. And it's brittle hollow? Ooh, goodness. That is a little scary. Have I ever mentioned I'm afraid of heights? What we got going on over here? Alright. I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down, I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar would have apparently would have barely Feldspar would barely have laughed laughed at me, I bet. Jesus Christ, that was awful. <laughs> uh that's the good news. The bad news, I uh haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken. God damn it. And I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm gonna head north to the ruins on the equator and try and find a way down. Ruins on the equator. Yeah, that door is broken as shit. This ain't my ship. That's someone else's. boost goes a long way. Almost at the equator. Three. Three minutes of oxygen for me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait, that's a... That's a tree. That'll refill me. Yeah, let's go. Is a skeleton. Fucking Pompeii ass ruins here. Okay, we learned about this. Oh, this is gonna make me nauseous. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. I live, bitch. Oh, okay. Like a network of, um...
Tower of Quantum Knowledge. West, 190 meters. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm the Banjo Boy, though. Hey, there you are. At least you're not doing it in VR. God, that would make me throw up for sure. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job. You? Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, uh, this is Brittle Hollow, which probably already knew that. Lots of history here. That's great. It, it's great. So what are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hat -like. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see their, what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere where my little scout is halfway says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into... What's below? I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Haha, <laughs> that'd be... Yeah. I learned something? Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? Actually, never mind. Oh, okay. If you do find learn if you do find learn something new about the nomai though i'd love to hear it um if you don't mind i mean where should i explore oh wow where shouldn't you explore here um not the black hole actually that's very no which is unfortunate because uh the most exciting stuff is all the all below the crust including the hanging city that's just to the north you can kind of see it from here there's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. What are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, THE archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all timber heart scob right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with Nomai history, that's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your your Harthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help. Alright, see ya. Ooh, refuel jetpack, let's go! go down? No. Ah. Hmm. Go this way. I think I remember this. And that lift just kind of sends you right into a fucking black hole, huh? Or a wormhole, I guess? Gee. Gee, 
Beauty. There we go. Wow, it's just like a watcher? What, what? The witness, that's it. Oh. Ow. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during a brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. Ember Twin Projection Stone. That shit's rotating slow. If it's rotating, it's not. Is that the floor? Okay. What's this? Oh, okay, that just starts a rotation. Oh no, the sun's about to explode. Yeah, yeah that's that's the sun about to go supernova. Woo. Hello. Okay, something to check out next time. This is on the North Pole, it looks like. Yeah. Return warp status charge. Stepped onto the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Departure time. Yeah, okay. Can I translate this? The Hanging City below 50 meters. Sounds like the sun's about to blow. Friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked, we successfully recreated warp travel! Okay. Matt's is going to be showering, hopefully you won't be able to hear the pipes fucking vibrating. Which isn't the pipes vibrating is not on them. <sighs> what is that? Oh, and it breaks apart. Hmm. So I couldn't help but notice that they said they recreated warp travel with that station. Meaning that they previously had warp travel. What do we got going on? Yeah. 
or someone else had. Uh. Okay, let's go back to Brittle Hollow. I didn't die. That will fuck. I died. Let's not talk about that one. Gotta fix that autopilot, man. It's a death trap. Brittle, brittle hollow for real this time. That's brittle hollow. Ah, fuck. Okay. That felt like I was not <laughs> exiting the atmosphere. Okay, do not crash into the moon again. be better. Alright. Good landing. When we're right near the equator, so we can um go to the Hang City area right away. Identified signal nearby. Tower shard frequency discovered quantum fluctuations. A. Bloom Felix. Felix. I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix, mention Felix mentions uh, this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend on the, wa the wandering moon sounds the same. 
I've also heard the same signal this shark produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Okay. We're learning, we're growing. Earth's integrity, 71%. Don't love to see that. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observances, your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Bloom is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, this isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses a color and texture I've never seen anywhere else on this planet. Hypothesis. The rock's shard presence is significant. We should study it. Could it, could it be what is... Con Causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Hmm. Oh, another one. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Uh, if going to. Quantum Moon Tower of Knowledge on B H can Good to know. love to get into that southern observatory. Entrance to Tower of Quantum Knowledge below 90 meters. Southern Observatory, south 550 meters. Um, oh, see how I get into here. At below 90 meters? That looks like it goes down. Please don't put me in the black hole again. Okay. Crossroads, east, 190 meters. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. The last? I need mean, the first one, man. go up there because that's broken can I like rocket myself there whoops the answer is no okay well, now we know.
Okay, we're back with Ryback. itself. That's cool. I think this put me into the white hole last time. Maybe it's a different one, though. Oh, fuck. That looks fine. back up. They really made this whole little puzzle box here. Okay, what's over there? Oh, Jesus. just launch me into there. Okay, that shit is broken. Did we? Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yes, let's go. Okay, we're making it somewhere. Where? I do not know. Can I make it to there, do you think? Yeah, fuck. Well, only one way to find out. Let's go. Closer one. Ghost matter detected. Aha! Oh, that's all ghost matter. How far up does ghost matter go? Not too far. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. No! Well, 
minutes of oxygen. I was pretty close to. Where's the entrance? There it is. Start the rotator. Wrong one. I think this way. I also don't know how long it is till the sun explodes. Actually, a lot of ruins over here I haven't really explored. Oop. There. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts are interesting. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaged eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights in the moon cycles this planet... The, the nights the moon circles this planet appears random. It seems to travel as it, as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Would that be fucked up or what? Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist. Too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Okay. More stuff about that moon. There's that thing. Put signal scope. What is that? Hmm. Quantum fluctuations. Hmm. Interesting. To our friends in Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to and to Anona's original design, but as long as we've what we've built works, then I'm delayed. I knew we could do do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Um, I just realized my little counter isn't going. Like my my log time here. Um. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't please don't tell Kasava. 
This is wonderful news, and I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Ah! Ah. Hmm. Hang the city below. Uh, it got broke. And this one only goes up. my ship somewhere along the equator here hmm. my ship does not appear to be super accessible right now I really like your YouTube, uh, your videos on YouTube about system stuff, by the way. Thank you. I'm working on a big project right now uh, about DID in one-off episodes of TV shows. I've so far watched like 30 episodes of television for this, at least. Um, it is a big project, but it's one I'm excited about. Shit, I can't reach there. Oh. We're boned. Using oxygen as propellant, do not do that, please. This representation media can be a bit strange at times. Yeah, it's, um, not fantastic, usually. Jesus Christ. Ah! Like some bad tropes and all that? Yeah. Um, there's a, yeah, I'm just dead. Hate that. There's a lot of weird stuff in it. I've actually found that I tend to like the early representation better than later ones in general. Like... Uh, stuff from the late 50s and early 60s is pretty good. Um, but the most recent one, 2022, was like shockingly offensive for how late it was made. Like by that point, the trope is mostly like systems are, are like damaged victims who need to be coddled. But this show bravely stands up and says, actually, some of them can be murderers. So, that's something. Uh, Brilla Hollow again, I guess? I 
found that Tulpa episode of Chicago Med very interesting. That episode is based. I really like that one. Yeah, that one that one is just like an exercise in system love. You know? Okay. Did we land? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm buckle. Not a great landing. Put on your spacesuit. I'll go through that. All right, landing gear is good. Yeah, that episode really said it's actually a good thing that she uh, chose her tulpa over her husband. Her shitty ass husband. Really good. Love that. That man really said it's me or Becca and expected his wife to pick him. When he's literally like, I don't want you talking to your friends. Oh, I don't find signal. Interesting. I have not been to this part of the planet. Is this escape pod? Distress beacon. Hello? Can I help? Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can... Catch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb down safely, climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. I do remember that at some point you find a shortcut, like, to the, like, hang- oh, Jesus Christ, to the hang city proper. This escape pod? What do we got here? Launching Escape Pod 3, launching Escape Pod 2, now launching Escape Pod 1. Okay. Emergency Escape Hatch. Okay. 
Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. You're fucking telling me, man. Whoa. Ah, come on. Okay. Bring it around town. I find it interesting when it comes to representation media of any marginalized group, really, it is very rare for them to get facts straight. Yeah, it's because they don't want to hire people of that marginalized group. They want their little white boy club. Sucks, to be honest. If they let us consult on one of those shows, oh boy, it would go fantastic for them, to be honest. Though I'm sure there would be some systems calling in being like, um, actually, alters aren't actually their real, like, their own people. They're fragments of one personality. You know how it is. We got a uh, we got fuel down here. Southern Observatory, south. Okay, we made to the tower? The, like, quantum tower? Roads. The shuttle is currently whoop, is currently resting at the quantum moon. Shuttle resting at quantum. Oh, is that the sun exploding music? Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Gravity? What is the shuttle? Yo, what? Oh, look at this. Oxygen tank refill. You guys got, you guys got fuel? Ooh, what's this? 
I'm here. After watching it and wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of the journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I'm ready. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What does this do? Oh, I did it. Think? Oh. So the right doesn't work, and the center brings us back to Brittle Hollow. Where do you think this is going? I mean, allegedly the quantum moon, right? I don't think we're there. You map? I appear to be flying out of the galaxy. Now what does the other button do? The, the gravity cannon one? Ah! And this calls it back on. Okay, so it's basically what we got in there. But how do we do shit with it? Crossroads. What is that? Ooh. So again, that does nothing. This launches it. And we just gotta hope that the moon is there? Trust it? What is that? What is that? Uh, zoom? Huh. Are we, uh, are doing all that quantum moon thing? We're getting any further away? Yeah, seems it. Slowly, but. Seems to be mostly headed towards Dark Bramble. Does the moon show up there? I legitimately have no idea what I'm doing. I 
I should have put a probe in here. I watched a series where someone didn't understand how the warp worked until three-fourths of the way through the game. Oh no. Hi, Daylights. Is that it? Oh, we can follow the quantum signal, right? The distress beacon. That's escape pod one. That must be escape pod two. Or three. Are we, uh, are we on the quantum moon? Are we getting there? No, we are just being launched out of the solar system. Well, the supernova can't get me if I'm far enough away, in theory. So. I am not? No, I definitely am. Let's go back. Very cool. Very poggers. So now, scout launcher. Launch it. Rotate the camera. Uh. Let's see, R? Got the scout in there. Wish I could put the scout camera away. It's a little disorienting. Okay. Launch that shit. It's a reverse camera button. I know there was a button for camera on other side. Hang on, call, call it back, call it back. There we go. Gap didn't need to be inside, it needed to be on the outside. Launch it. Scout. That shit's disorienting. do appear to be stuck. I mean, I can always just go into the warp. 
Okay, I'm not quite stuck. So I do have no way to get back over there. Oh! Did it die? Was that the stig it launched into the sun? <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. What's that sun gonna explode? It's uh looks like it's getting there. Yeah, no, I can't reach that. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Nope. Ow. Jesus Christ. What's that? Are those just parts of Brittle Hollow? I hadn't considered that if it falls off, you can follow it. My ass is for sure going to die on landing? I didn't? Oh, duh, there's no fucking gravity. <laughs> Come on. Is that launching out? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, smoke him if you got him. I'd be interested to know what percentage of people had their first death be the sun exploding. Oh, I died about 10 seconds before it would have gone off. Ugh. Fuck. Um, we can do one more loop. I want to play around more on Brittle Hollow. <sighs> okay. a neat game. Oh, yes, 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 the escape beacon. Or distress beacon escape pod. Good landing. Yeah, 
shoot. There we go. be a little cautious. Okay. I think it's further down than we made it last. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious about falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Ooh, the eye. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. Hmm. That's the mo this is the most significant detail. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? That's what I'm saying. Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it must off might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Perhaps. No signal for me? Anyone? No. Jump here. Jump here. The hardest part of this tragedy not knowing is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost, or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Mallory. Let me get some F's in chat for Aunt Mallory. Oxygen. A little bit of oxygen in my life. A little bit of jet fuel by my side. Can't understand why the vessel crashed in that place. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. We where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Ooh. Hang on. We, we, got, a little, we got a little fucking story here. So the eye is calling out to, I'm guessing, the vessel here. The vessel gets fucking brambled. And then three escape pods launch. One gets caught in the brambles, it looks like. One heads to Riddle Hollow, and the other one to the Twin Planets. Okay. I feel like we're learning some stuff. We can hear the other escape pods' distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. Man, they didn't have to 
to make that so sad. we got going. Okay, we check that out. Go down this way. Okay. Nope. Okay, we did look over here. I feel like we're starting to get somewhere here. We learned all this, let's keep going. Oh hey! That's a path! How do we get up there? Path. There it is. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. The building, be building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can Felix Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if there aren't present if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eyes signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Bloom, and eloquently made. If moving to the Northern Glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. Okay. Friends here moved to the Northern Glacier. I'm a little nervous of what if these don't hold me quite as long as I think they will. Hard to tell how far the gravity goes for each one. This shit makes me nervous. Okay. She is in anxiety inducing. How do I get up there? I have no idea how long we have until the moon explodes, or the sun explodes, for the record. Okay, where am I? I am at the North Pole. takes me. 
Ooh, ghost marriage attack. That's not good. Oh, I see it. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Okay, I can't go that way. Oxygen. Real convenient that these people breathed oxygen. More ghost matter? Okay. Oh, we got a scroll. Hang on. Oh, it's a classroom. Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe met, meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. This is child handwriting. That's cute. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery, big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too. Like Anona's warp core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we use, we used to go too. Don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. How do I... How do I put down scroll? Insert scroll. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know... Sorry, the, the skeleton. Uh, one thing we do know is everything... Whoa, used to be very densely packed. Uh, very densely... Very hot and very dense. Tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. The universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and li the light they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Conoy tells me it won't happen in our lifetime. But it'll happen in someone's someday. Good point. The kid's got a point. Okay, where to next? Ghost matter, ghost matter. here already? Everywhere kind of looks the same. Okay, that's the ghost matter. Looks like we haven't gone over there. Because I see untranslated shit. Ooh. School district. Meltwater district. Eye Shrine District, Black Hole Forge District. Oh, it's a it's a staircase essentially. Meltwater District, it is. Black Hole Forge Controls. Ooh. Yeah, that's floor. Forge Controls. Ooh. 
Oh, hello. Where is that going? The top level is Black Hole Forge, right? Ah, this one doesn't go all the way. Is this one? No. Well, no. City is pretty interesting. Thank you for the oxygen. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the solar this star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this: the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to possibilities. Ooh. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than the universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe is, was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? Of note, this, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age? Interesting. Hmm. Find some other areas here. believe as I did as a child on Ember Twin that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that circumstance. I suspect imagining that we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have been called might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have called out, been calling out at all, and my, that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't, this wouldn't be so bad, I think. Where? That was one of the children who wrote in the school district, I'm pretty sure. So they lived like multiple generations here. 
That's blocked off here. Uh, more of the Melt Forge district then? Melt water? The Ash Twin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we attain, obtain it? No answer. Ooh, 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 scroll. Scroll. Solution two. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't find solution one. We could craft an, a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Oh lord. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Abandoning the vessel's warp core in its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of re we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn. I think. Where's the other scroll? Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good nomai perished there. My mentor, Coleus, and his me old mentor discovered and once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in the fossil fish cave when we were children. What Meloray and I ha learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken at best. Recall those present re recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we're able to transport it back here. Perhaps we could still repair it. My gra my grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Okay. One thing that we learned. Uh, warp core on dark bramble. Info on Gary Fish on Ember Twin. Good information. Very contemplative music. Oh. What do you find to translate? Why does it want to translate that? 
Uh huh. That's fine. I feel strange trying to recreate Anono's warp core without him. At times, it's it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care, not his. Hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor, and Dita. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if, it, if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? I was wrong in volunteering to build it. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. I... I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, all I can give is my best, and an, as Anono would say, should craft, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Interesting. People just leaving their diaries out for public consumption on this planet. And further? Oh, this is the, the forge. Like, like now? Therefore, no one can criticize me. Hey, V. How you doing? I assume it's V. How was your day with uh, Michelle? Oh, sun's about to explode. There's kind of no point in me going anywhere necessarily, but there's, um, pick up Ember Twin Projection Stone. Can I put it, like, here? Can I put it here? to find a place to put this. I've seen a couple of these, I think. Also, that sun is about to explode. Ooh, will we get a good shot of it? No. Ooh, a little bit. Oh, well, now we have a great view of it. Whee! Alright, I think that's my last loop for tonight. This was fun, though. Two hours and 50 minutes, that didn't seem right. Alright. We've learned a lot. Uh, we've lived, laughed, and loved. And I'm going to play more of this soon. I like this game. I don't feel the, like a controller would control better, to be straight with you. A reset loop and quit to main menu. Huh. Quit. Alright, well, thanks for gaming, everyone. Uh, I will see you soon.